Okay, let's head over to a man that has all the best moves in the Beko kitchen. Not so much dancing, but more your recipes. Oh, cheers, Mike. Uh, when are you supposed to be doing a, a move today? Well, you no. said that yesterday. Well, yeah, I you've know. You've been working I, on it, right? I haven't practiced much. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been practicing this recipe. I have been practicing yes. this recipe. This Looks is good. a great recipe. You know, we've got Singapore fried noodles. Mm. We've got rice noodles here. We've got Yum. lots of vegetables in there. We're going to stir fry some eggs for it. All the usual sus suspects uh, in there, the soy, and a nice little extra ingredient, a little bit of curry powder as well. Gives oh, it that nice. nice sort of authentic Singapore noodle kick oh, and yes. flavour. And what's the, what do they call this? Is this a savvy cabbage? Uh, no, it's called a wombok. A wombok. Okay. wombok. I thought it was a, was it a savvy? A savoy cabbage. Oh, savoy. No, that's French. <laughs> you should know that. Well, this, is, this is a Chinese cabbage. It looks savvy the way you've cut it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we will get the full recipe a little later in the show. We are in the Beko kitchen and Mark, we're making Singapore noodles. We are, we are. So Yum. Singapore noodles. So as we said, we've got some uh, rice wine vinegar, we've got some soy in there, uh, garlic, ginger, spring onions, usual suspects, and we've got a little bit of curry powder as well, which yeah. just lifts the whole noodles. We've got some chicken and prawns as well for our protein. Nice. So you can do uh, nice thin slices on your chicken. Yes. Thin you, slices. You okay, yeah, cool. Thin slices. Cool. And then Cute. I'm going to start um, getting all the, chopping all the stuff, all the aromats there. So do you want a tip? Yes, I always love your tips. ginger a teaspoon. And then you just scrape it, scrape it down. Oh, okay, so you're not wasting and as this, much. No, you're not wasting anything. Okay, great. Yeah, good work. Okay, and with the chicken, thin slices. Again, I'm just trying to work out the best way to cut it. Thin slices, Mike. No, but do you go that no, way? Or do you go, this go that way? way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, is that a thin slice? <laughs> How thin? <laughs> Very thin. As like thin that? As you can, as, as thin okay. As, yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's pleased it's Friday. <laughs> Right, Are we yeah. hanging out this weekend, Mark? Mark and I hung out last weekend. Yeah, no, it was awesome. Wasn't yeah, it? your girls are so gorgeous, so lovely. Yeah, and the, uh, they, oh, they love the magic show. They've yeah. been practicing the magic uh, card tricks because we went to go and watch Dynamite. Oh, nice. Which is really good. And, and they and, got into it. Oh, and the little good. ones doing the, uh, the the levitating as well. Oh, wow. With the help of Dad. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll tell her if she keeps that up, she can sell out <laughs> stadiums around the world, clearly. <laughs> okay, cool. So... Thin right. slices of chicken, do you yeah. want both breasts done? No, we'll just do one breast. Okay, so really good. really thin slices, and the benefit um, of that is going to stir fry it really, really quickly. Okay, nice. Right, so once you've uh, sliced all those up, we've got a really hot wok. We'll put some oil in it, so the uh, oil's really hot now. You can see it's smoking. Mm -hmm. Pop the chicken in there carefully. Yep, that's it. And then start stir frying it. It's only going to take about a minute or so. Get a little bit of colour on there, and it's going to start to turn white. Don't need to cook it all the way through, because we're going to re-add it to everything. Cool. So after about a minute, you can drain it off, you can pop it in that bowl. Oh wow, that quick. Okay. Yeah, like really, really, really quick. And then what we're going to do is going to stir fry the vegetables. So we're going to stir fry everything in stages. So it's all going to be hot in the bowl and then we're going to add it back to our sauce and add it back to our noodles. Speaking of noodles, I've got a bowl of hot water. You have to soak them nice, though, uh, yeah. Yeah, nice rice noodles in there and we just want to soak them in there. So they won't take long to soak. So nice hot water, so just be careful and they're just going to rehydrate them. So I'll leave them for about five minutes just to get nice and loose and we'll drain them off and then I've got a little marinade for the uh, noodles so it's going to help get flavour into the noodles straight away. Okay, so I feel like this chicken is not cooked but it feels like it's been passed a minute. Is that alright? Yeah, 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 no, that's fine. So you can, you right, can tip cool. it out there. Okay, cool. Yeah, you've still got some raw bits but we, you know, we are going to put it back in the pot okay, and we're going to cool. make the sauce around it. Okay, nice. Right, so same pot for the yeah, veggies. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Same pan. So you got a nice non-stick wok there, so it just uh, tips out. You can put a splash more oil in there. Okay, chef. You're working me today, aren't you? Oh, good. No, she's, she's she's busy one today, isn't she? It's good though. Love your food. Thank you to everybody too that's uh, leaving messages on the Facebook page. Really appreciate it. Just oh, especially about the mushy peas. There was a lot of support um, around the nation, probably yes. from British people, um, <laughs> about the mushy peas. And um, well, they look yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, somebody didn't like them, did they? No, right. Okay. Yeah, share your recipes with us and uh, let us know what you're doing. It's great. Right, nice and hot. Go in there. Yeah, so really nice and hot. I've got a little bit of chilli as well, so I like that. I'm going to pop that in there. I've got some nice batons of ginger. They go in there as well. I'm going to chop some uh, garlic as well, and that goes in there. Same again, hot wok, stir fry it, keep tossing it, another minute or so just to soften those peppers. We still want a bit of a crunch in there. We're just getting all those flavours out, the garlic and ginger and the chilli. So another minute, that goes out on top of the chicken, warm the pan up again, and yep. we're just going to keep doing that in stages. Because Brilliant. if we add everything to the wok at once, because we've got loads of um, ingredients, you know, we're going to lose the temperature and it's just going to boil and it's going to take longer. Okay, great.
smelling great and we'll get to finish off these noodles very soon. We need to finish off our fantastic Singapore noodle dish today. Are uh, you happy with the chicken boss? Yep, chicken's great, yes. vegetables are great, okay. all the flavours in there. Right, so we've got the noodles, the noodles yes. will soak so they're nice and soft. You drain them off. Yeah, yep. what we need to do now is I've got some dried mushrooms, you could use fresh or if you wanted to use dried, it gives you a different texture. Okay. I'm just going to cut them nice and fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to pop them in a bowl. I'm going to pop them in with the noodles um, just to rehydrate. But we're going to we're going to use some um, Chinese wine. Okay. In there. So we're kind of marinating the vermicelli noodles. Yeah, we're marinating the noodles. So I've got a little bit of sugar, a little bit of the curry powder, nice, and some soy sauce as well. Curry powder is good. You know, my sister puts curry powder in some of her white baked fritters. And oh yeah, it makes yeah. a huge difference to them, mate. Eh? Yeah, I've heard that before. It's really it's nice. nice. So you've got your dried mushrooms in there, so they're going to rehydrate. They're going to take all that flavour of the soy and the curry as well. As we said, give us a different texture mm -hmm. and get our noodles. Oh yeah, noodles. And then they go in there as well. You know, look at that. They're taking on all that colour, all that flavour. You know, give them sort of five, ten minutes. That's fine. It smells brilliant. Pans back on. Okay. Right, we've got our prawns. So what you can do, you can chop these up if you want. Um, if you've got a tail on, just grab the prawn, pinch the tail and pull. Comes off. You can leave them on if you want. It's a nice bit of garnish, a bit of texture when you eat it. Or take them off, entirely up to you. Um, I've got some peanut oil as well. Okay. Uh, pan's hot. Yeah, pan's cool. really hot. A little bit of oil in there. You can use normal oil if you want or use peanut if you, if you obviously you're not allergic to it. It gives it a nice flavour. Prawns can go in. You can start stir frying them. I've got an egg as well, so we're going to make a little bit of a, a sort of stir-fried egg within the um, uh, stir-fry. Oh yeah, nice. So a little bit of pepper in there, <laughs> splash of soy, and then whisk it up. Well, there's so many flavours going on here, it's going to be beautiful. That's it, crank the heat up. So prawns will not take long to cook. All right, so they're cooking down. After about a minute or so, you can put the egg in there. So yeah. as soon as I put this in, you want to be breaking it up and okay, stirring cool. it. So hot pan, so the egg's going to start cooking. Now this is where you've got to work really fast now. So once your egg's nearly set, we can pop up all our noodles in there. Okay. Oh, this is smelling so good. It's good. Yeah, what, what's wrong? What was that look for? <laughs> am, I not, am I too slow? No, 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 no it's good. All right, noodles go in there. Yep. So you've got that little bit of sauce in there. Same time, everything back in the pan. Oh my goodness. Right, so we want to warm everything up, warming everything up. The sauce is going to reduce down, it's going to coat it, and it's going to finish cooking that chicken off. A little bit of the wombok. A wombok. Or the, uh, or the savvy the, cabbage. Or the savvy the cabbage. Savory cabbage. <laughs> and, um, and then just a little bit of green spring onion, and you can finish it with a bit of coriander if you are so inclined, or leave it out. There's a lot of green in there. Look at that, beautiful. The smells of the That goes in there, right keep now. tossing it. Oh, okay, cool. So, like this way? Yeah, that's it. Oh, look at that, you've been practicing. Look at that. Okay, cool. Oh, so good. I was, one thing, though, that I've noticed I do is you can't leave it off the element for too long, eh? You, no, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah that's it. There. So, you know, much that I'm trying to be fancy, you still got to make sure it's cooking. So, here you go. There it you go. It's delicious. Nice and glazed. You know, it's mm. all going to be nice and warm. The chicken's just going to cook through, so it's still going to be nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. You know, got all those different textures in there. Won't take long at this stage. That's pretty much ready, you know. Okay, Obviously, good. just double check your chicken. Um, you don't want to keep cooking it because you don't want to lose the colour in those nice fresh vegetables. Does that look better? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Good nice job. Nice work. Well. Thank you, Chef. Smells incredible, this recipe, along with the rest of the weeks, are, of course, available on our website. So go and give them a try, OK? This looks amazing, oh, Mark. Look at that. I know. I did a good job, work. didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing on Monday? I've got a Reuben sandwich. <laughs>